No. We got you. Oh, We're here. I'm on fire. Okay. Oh, it's all right. You're not on fire. I knew it. You're lying. Well, I bet you in fire. No, you're not. I'm on fire. You're not on fire. No, you're not in fire, babe. Okay. All right, beautiful day on Pacific Pines Ranch. Today we are switching gears a little bit. We are working on building our little step out balcony. We got a bunch of metal that we have to cut to do the frame and I have to weld some reinforcement plates in and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna start the day and see how far we can get. As with every project, the first step is always figuring out the measurements and setting everything up. A few side notes I'd like to mention, we have balconies all over the house. You'll see as we progress, but really, we went crazy in the design stage and put balconies everywhere. So we decided to make these balconies on the small side. They're sort of like a Juliet balcony, but we'll be able to take a step outside. So step out balcony, if you will. <laughs> Also, we're only building the structure for the balcony right now and we're waiting to do the finishing work until we finalize our design for what we want to do with the railing system and the flooring. Like everything else on the ranch, it's a work in progress. We cut the pieces for the exterior structure of the balcony out of the leftover sea channel from our reinforcements. So we got two pieces of the, uh, I have the hiccups, so excuse me if I hiccup, but uh, we got two pieces of the balcony cut out and now Viant, <laughs> these hiccups are crazy, now Viant is cutting the piece that will go perpendicularly to do the frame of the balcony. Got the two other pieces here, right here and right here, and we're just going to work a little by li <laughs> little by little get this piece cut weld the three together and then weld it onto the container so we got the shape all cut out looking real good yeah. super happy my husband does precise work a plus plus I tried. I tried. <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna weld those together and then we will weld them to the container and work on the pieces that go in between after that. So far, so good. Yeah, yeah things are going well. Good job. Yay.
another warm day out here on Pacific Pines Ranch. Today we are working on trying to finish the structure of the floating balcony. You see it right there. So we are cutting some more steel that will go in here, weld it all in place, run a few C channels perpendicular or pr parallel to the container, and uh, we should be good after that. So let's see how much we can finish before it's dark. Good tools make the job easier. The audio is going to be terrible on this because Viant is grinding in the back, but not much I can do about that. All I have to say is I have a mad appreciation for all you people out there that do this kind of construction or metal work in the hot temperatures like Vegas or Phoenix, whatever, anywhere where it's like above 80 degrees because I am dying right now. <laughs> in my leathers and my mask everything and it's like i don't know 65. <laughs> so yeah mad props to you guys out there but anyways uh, i just welded the first tubing for the support so that's all welded around onto this c-channel viant he is over here grinding uh cleaning the next one so i can weld the next one in place so after he's done cleaning that We'll go back over, mark where it's got to go, which is right where this black line is right here. So clean that, put it in place, make sure it fits, and uh, yeah, grind, weld, paint, repeat. Here we go. Ooh, I'm sure I look crazy. I just took my mask off. I just finished getting this third 2x4 in place. So really happy with how it's going. The balcony is super strong. Anyways, so yeah, the uh, 2x4s are in place, are all welded together onto the C-channel and the, uh, both C-channels actually. So now what we're gonna do is go and grab the small three inch C-channels and run them parallel with the container. Little by little. So now we are working on the last part of the structure of the balcony. We are going to cut the C channels. So there's Viant over there with the saw. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once, right, babe? Yep. <laughs> so far we cut twice and measure once. So we are going to cut these to size, place them in there, and weld them all together. So we finished for the day. Balcony is looking pretty good. We have it covered right now just in case it rains or something. But happy with our work and uh, tomorrow we'll grind everything down, weld the small C channels in place and paint everything. New day out here on Pacific Pines Ranch. So for today, we are still working on the balcony. What? we are going to be doing is we are going to remove these that are not attached yet, go through, grind everything down in preparation to be painted. After I will weld 
these in place and clean the slag from the weld and uh, yeah, paint. So that's pretty exciting. It's the first balcony that we did and it's looking pretty good. So we're really happy with it. So we're gonna get all of our gear on and uh, grind. I try to stand a little bit away from the air compressor because it's so loud. So sorry if you can hear it in the audio. Uh, there's not much I can do about that unless I go deep into the woods. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, we got the first C-channel that's parallel to the container welded in. So right now we are just working on removing the slag so I can weld the second piece that goes in and after that we can remove the slag again and then we can start to paint. So yeah, little by little. The sun is nearing the end of the day so it's cooling off which is nice. So yeah, we'll just see uh, how far we can get. We painted all the welds first with a brush to make sure they got a good coat of primer. After we painted the balcony with the air spray gun, it does a way better finish and it's way faster than painting by hand. We will wait to do the final coat of paint until the entire side of the container is ready to be painted. That way we only have to paint one time. Nice morning today on Pacific Pines Ranch. Uh, another late night. <laughs> yes, we have our coffee. It's the best part of the day. <laughs> uh, for whatever reason, we are incapable of finishing our painting days before like 10 p.m. So <laughs> we painted into the night yesterday again. And uh, yeah, so now we're just waking up and checking our work. Looks pretty good, I have to say. Oh yeah, me. I got in a paint with the uh, mm -hmm. a fight with the paint. Testing the balcony. How strong is that? <laughs> strong as fuck. <laughs> <laughs>